take it further than a pinch Get it out of the gutter, got a stutter when I hurt her with my wrist If I thought I would've started with the part about the case Guess I wouldn't have to barter with the 40 in my biz It's a party in the stars with the roaring in the bins And a part of me can stop if you thought it would've missed It's a chronic kind of love that you know you wouldn't get Ain't nobody gonna stop, ain't nobody gonna win Listen, while you're sitting and you're feeding on your guilt Chop your brick, covering from all the shit that I did when I bid On the tongue of the devil, she among all the pitch of the wind of a soul than a witch Pistol I might just carry on my hips Tip of the gun is now another bitch She a prick She can pick up on the sting she commits Everybody here now knows what it's like Suck gonna lie All gonna die Fuck got the look Get the suck of the times Luck of the shine Rock of the mind Cause everybody here now loves to be right Loves to be light Loves to be up to the task To be up to the times Love on the sides Love the top of the night Wanna wake, mask on my face as I count up the weight. Bastard opinion, a pastor who rapes. Plaster the man in a craftsman of race. Check it, Merovingian, I'm here for vengeance. Rin, 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 hear the roar of my engines. No stinging, life in abundance. You surrounded with lies and a gunman. If you feel that the peace is so free, then you better head now. Get down in your knees, say please. If you wanna feel kinda free, then I got news for your son. Get some of these. Arc enemies with arc comedies. Back at arc comedies, sack for fatigue. It's all fuck all I see, fuck what I need That's just fuck what I mean, fuck what I mean Everybody here now knows what it's like Suck gonna lie, all gonna die Fuck gonna look, get the suck of the times Luck on the shine, rock of the mind Cause everybody here now loves to be right Loves to be light, loves to be up to the task To be up to the times, rough on the sides of the top Thank you. Thank you guys so much. You're too kind. Something about me isn't what you want and I get that. Now I'm on you, but I don't want you to keep track. Tally every strike against me, call it. How are we doing today? Call me when you lonely and we'll call it a combat. Running from the police in a car. What's up everybody? Happy Tuesday. Thank you guys very much for joining. What is happening? I'm running late. Sorry about that. Um Pygon Bar. You just listened to uh, our friend from India. He um, he is finally putting out that song we just heard um, soon. He has a video. Oh, and like he was part of it was was like that held him back on all of it. It was that like he had like family members who got COVID and passed away. So. Give, send Pagambar your love. Um, but he went through a lot of, he went through a lot getting the uh, the song, getting through all of that and getting to the song and getting and putting it out. So um, like, yeah, support that guy. Um, song will be out this month. Couple, I think like a week or something. Um, and... Um, oh shoot, I asked Anna a question. I gotta get the answer before I, I say anything. Okay, she says yes. The Discord is ready. What the hell is going on? Dude, you guys, the Discord is ready. For those of you guys who um, are, you know, who like Discord? We we'll use Discord. I'm getting the link right now. Hang on. Um, yeah, those of you guys on Discord, um, we we have our own Discord now. Um, God damn it! Let me just get it off my phone. I'm just gonna put the link in the chat. Um, Anna, we need to put a recurring link in the chat for the Discord, right? We need to put a recurring link. Um, 
Let me just put it in the chat real quick. Boom. I hope this is the right thing. Is this right? Okay, I hope this is right. <laughs> It'd be funny if I post that and it's like, Mike, this doesn't go to your channel, you big dummy. Um, we'll have like a proper like professional link or whatever soon. Um, but yeah, so we've got the we got the Discord up and running. Um, it's you know we're still fixing some things. Like this morning, I realized that I was listed as I wasn't listed as a manager or moderator of the of the the Discord. So like I was on slow mode. Um, in the chat and I couldn't change it <laughs> so that was <laughs> I had to fix that um, but yeah we got areas for um, art now that's a new one we just added we got music making music gear self promotion for you you can like you know tell people about your music your art your NFTs your whatever um, we do have an NFTs uh, section gaming subs only for subscribers of this channel you have your own special place on the discord to talk the fans requested uh memes so there's a memes channel art channel and mods only channel which obviously for mods uh we've got a few mods already so i think we're taken care of there for the moment and um i don't see the twitch notification in uh, Discord working yet. So maybe I missed it. Anyway, uh, yeah, so head over to the Discord and, um, oh, good, you guys are putting it in the chat. That works too. Um, yeah, so go on over there, hang out, talk, say what's up. Um, we'll be all up in the Discord. Um, will be, I be on the chat on? D Discord to chat? Probably. Yeah. I have been so far. I went in there a couple times. I lurked a couple times and nobody knew I was there and they were talking all kinds of crazy shit. We need more people in there though. Cause like, it was like, um, yeah, when it's just like, you know, 10 people, it's fun. But I think having more people in there and, and, um, you know, keep it fun, keep it positive. I think that's the most important thing. Um, okay, so. God, what else, what else? I was thinking sometime soon, I think I wanna put another, um, another song on Audius. I think I wanna do that soon. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, if you if you sign in, um, if you're a, a sub here, you're, um, Twitch emotes will work on Discord. You have to be a sub for that to work? I just did, I just connected and it works. I assume you have to be a sub. Or is it just if you're like a tap, if you're just like following me on Twitch, it'll work. All right, speaking of which, let's do some quick shout outs. Some shouts. All right, who do we got? We got Sasha Elena, resubbed. We got Samina Dominic, resubbed. Mary from Mars, resubbed. May Loves Music, resubbed. Claire Carter's 1979, resubbed. Dr. H. Quinzel, resubbed. Linkin Park fan, Elrika, resubbed. Prime, Snort. Paper Cup 456, resubbed. Springer, 1985, resubbed. Bincock resub with Prime. Smart. Lapis Metal gifted five. Poggers. <laughs> Subs. Elena Malasheva 22 resub. Devil's Appetite resub with Prime. Smart. Bottle Blonde. Omni Master. Belly Coast. All uh, subbed and resub. Cutie Pie 1980 resub with Prime. Smart. Azib resub. Khadija 378 resub. Rebecca Morgan Wetzel resub. Shami Boy. Subbed Hybrid Snow to Gifted. LP Buckeye nice. gifted five more. Nice, 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 nice. Big gift. Black Bill resubbed. Hybrid Snow to Gifted. Nice. A couple times. 
All right, you guys. I think we're caught up. Oh, how did you know that again? All right, guys. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, Amber Lee, Sam Champagne. Mm. Guardian Asylum, resub. All right, guys, let's do some ort. We think. A little ort. Damn, I've got a lot of songs here. You guys know how many songs we've made? Do we have a count of how many songs I've made on this Twitch channel since the beginning? Even if we don't count Open Door, which kind of started off Twitch. How many have we done on, how many songs have I done on Twitch? More than 43. 69,000. I've done 420. Is there a real number? 356? Is that the real number? 312? 326? 420. 420 songs. All right, guys. It's over 300. 300s. Yeah, people were singing somewhere in the 300s. It's a lot of fucking track. You guys let me know when we hit our 420th track, okay? You guys are gonna have a fucking. <laughs> that stream is gonna be so funny. The 420 stream. Oh, man. I wonder if there's a way to do a way to do a funny 420 stream that doesn't require me to be high and streaming. That would be not a that's not a good look. It's not a good look for uh I don't think that's a good look for me now. Thanks. Um 609 sit when it gets to to 469. Wait, what? Um anyway, what are we going to draw today? What are we going to draw? What are the art requests? Oh, these are so disorganized. Fuck. Um, hang on. Let me just make a little bit of sense of the uh, my little list here. I got to move some of these things. Oh, shit. Hold on. You guys, I can't take it when the, when the, um, what is this? Spreadsheet? Spreadsheet is all messy, right? You can imagine that's my, my deal, right? When the spreadsheet is messy, I get like panicky, obviously. All right. Oh, Crow Rose wants a Sonic the Hedgehog. That sounds like fun. And do a Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, give me one sec. Like, what if I draw the weird, the weird Sonic? Anna Shinoda is is lurking, but she's not looking this way. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so Sonic, this Sonic, wait, the, this Sonic, <laughs> the weird two human Sonic, gross, I mean, they did fix it, look at that guy, there you go, um, yeah, this is the Sonic that, that's the Sonic. I wonder if I could take Sonic and like do something interesting with with him. Like I don't know. Wait, what button am I pushing? It's been so long since I did an art stream. Um You know what I'm saying? Like Sonic's got first of all, just so just to like get started with this. Hold on. Where's my like that was a good... There we go. 
That's a good one. Maybe I don't want to do that one. Hold on. Let me find a different palette. Now let's use this one. Alright. Um, Sonic. Because the Sonic... Sonic's... Whoa. Dude. <laughs> there. Is it good? Is that a good... Here's Sonic. I'm doing Sonic. I think I did it, guys. Oh wait, hold on. There. Sonic. There we go. Did I did I do it? Did I did I get it right? Uh, I want to keep that one. That's a good one. All right, there's my first drawing. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. So I think I want to use the little. There we go. Okay. Um, I feel like Sonic's head, so Sonic's head is like this big. Sonic's body is like this. And then it has like these little skinny legs and humongous shoes, right? And like huge hands as well. And he's like, number one. So that's kind of his shape. He looks like he's doing like, <laughs> he's giving you the finger here. Right now he's giving you the finger. Maybe need a different like, Pose. Let's do a better pose for Sonic. Let's do... Hmm. I think I want to do... He's really... His, like... His head is such a weird shape, you guys. Look at how weird his head with those spiky things. Like, when they do the his head in CG, I guess they put, like, different spiky things on... They put them on each side or something? Do you want to say hi? I have breaking news. Oh, is it for the for the stream? Yeah. Um, Anna Shinoda, ladies and gentlemen. Hang on. Um, here we go. <laughs> oh. Anna Shinoda. Good, um... If anybody's been following my Instagram, they following saw your... that somebody's been eating our honeydew. Oh shit! You didn't check the trap this morning. No, did you? we have a rat. We have a rat in in the uh, in the trap. Caught a caught a mouse. A, a live a live trap. It's a live trap. Um, because I I don't feel good about killing them. So we I got I so I built a trap as you guys. Probably most of you who follow my, well, I put it on TikTok, but I think I also put it on IG. I had a little bottle trap, and then, like, we decided this this mouse might actually. We didn't know how big it was, or if there was more than one. So, um, Anna bought a bigger, like, a little cage trap, a little live cage trap. So we got one. Yeah, we got. There was one. only one. There's only one, but but we're gonna keep setting it. But I feel. Good. Like it, it's that gotta, little we gotta let that, that little go. jerk. Oh my God, he ate. He ate two 
honeydew that were like the honeydew was growing like it was big it was like ready we were gonna pick it like within a day or two and he got to it the day i'm gonna say he got to it two days before we did yeah and then um and you have to wait for honeydew to ripen so you can't yeah you can't pull it off and then he ate a tomato this big two nights ago which is okay because there's a bunch of yeah, tomatoes. but he's been eating all the cherry tomatoes well, that's, before we could get them. Like it's making a, me crazy. Rat's I, a little, like, he's I, a little fatty. Yeah. So anyway, there's one. Dude, seriously, for one rat to eat that much stuff, like he's probably be, this big, and the honeydew was like this. There might be more, is the thing. I'm yeah, thinking. that's what I'm wondering. I'm, I'm thinking that there might be more. So, but we'll just anyway. keep putting out the trap, and the dog can't get it's he, these rats like fruit and vegetables anyway. So we'll just put it in there, and the dog can't really get to it. Yeah. So, um, anyway, it uh, okay. Needs, it needs a little to be released. So caught caught another mouse. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna release it. I hate releasing it during like the. Is the I day took I took the off, other one. I took the other one. Right. right like the the the, we'll talk about yeah. yeah we'll yeah. talk about locations Should, offline. Should I? You're gonna do it now. You or should I do it now? Okay, we're I gonna mean, go BRB. Hang on, guys. I'm I'm I gotta talk to Anna real quick and about this situation, and then we'll be back. stuff i don't know if it's a rat or a mouse i'm using the terms interchangeably because i haven't seen the animal and i mean in my opinion who gives a shit he's eating our food and he's big enough to eat that big of a cantaloupe or whatever it was what he was eating then he's a rat let's do that let's say that i don't know who cares so, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. I feel like the... I feel like, first of all, that there might be people who here who are, like, so into Sonic that they're gonna be like, That's not... You didn't do a good job. Why don't... People are... Some people are really into Sonic. Aren't they? Well, it's like a nostalgia thing. I don't have nostalgia for, for Sonic because I never really played it. Is that weird? I just didn't really get into Sonic. It just wasn't one of the ones for me. But I'm gonna try and make this Sonic like a little Um, I'm gonna try and make him a little stylized. Let's make him like a little bit of my style here. And no, it's a little weird. Do 
this. And then... Let's see, his little head kind of comes out like this, doesn't it? Gonna have to put his head, push his head down a little bit to make room for the, um, for the body. Would you take this heart and show me how so the ears kind of come off of the back of the, behind the eye, like that. And it's kind of like this. Will you teach me how? And this ear kind of comes out like this a little bit. Why, why were people so into Sonic? Is it nostalgia? It's nostalgia, isn't it? What should we do with him? What should we do with him from here? What should, what should he be doing? Requests in the chat. Eating a rat. Yee. I think we're, I think that's the, I think that's the vibe on this guy. Let's put him towards the middle. All right, so there's our, there's our sketch. Let me just tighten it up here. Should I like, well, we'll, I guess we'll, we'll color him in a little bit. Color man. You look around with your head turned down. You don't wanna look proud, but you wanna be found. These eyes are very familiar. This is like the um, style of stuff that I did in like high school. Like that style of eye. Very, very familiar. We do like the little, I guess his eyes kind of do have like a bit of a, like this going on. Oops, I have 
in there. Does he have three fingers? Oh, he does have four fingers, doesn't he? All right, Sonic. our mouth. Space boots. You clapping at home? Turn it up. Space boots. Sonic. That's a 
weird hand. It really needs to be like down here. It needs the elbow down here. Otherwise, he doesn't have, like, I don't know. He needs arms on there. We also need a good sonic blue. About right, right there. That's about right. Is his stomach the same color as his? So if you love kind of me, is same color. You me know, it's like I feel like it needs to be a little lighter. Started to acknowledge that I'm toxic How could I not with all this weight up on my conscience, yeah Dwelling on the past so I feel another glass But if you ever ask what's wrong then I got this They ask what's hurting you so I laugh and hit him back with his personal Detached, I'm in a trance then I hurl abuse Cause you asked too many questions and I swerve the truth, uh I ain't never felt worthy in this lifetime Pushing you away then I crave you in the night time You just need space cause you say it ain't the right time I can feel my brain still clinging to my lifeline Been on the yay, now I'm feeling like my vibe's high And if anything I'll say I'm over it and I'm fine Take anything to cope with it until it wears off my heartbeat Weird, now my fears have all flared up I can see clear through my teardrops Wonder when I start on a path where the fear stops Someone bring me back from the brink with a flash and a bang Now I'm hmm. back in the mix I think I'm gonna do so me, yeah. me, 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 me. Wow, I ch accidentally changed the brown But that's actually kind of cool I've been feeling so ashamed of the person that I am And I know I caused you pain and I'm certainly detached So let me roll a J cause I just want you to relax Said I've been playing games that like I'm living in a trance While you're hitting up my line saying tell me where you at How do I decide Making if I'm gonna be a man So you know when it's your time and I guess it is my path Are you adding to my life and I'm questioning the facts Better with the rhymes and I really am with math So if we take the time plus the stress and aversion to romance And if we still feel divide the then I'ma have to just subtract Remember when I told you that there's nothing that can make my affection and intention Fall away to the wayside No faults, it ain't yours and it ain't mine Sometimes feel it's changed up from the night to the daytime I swear I didn't lie, I didn't waste time I just fell in love with the drugs and the bass lines Started drinking too much Clinged onto a crutch till I crumbled to dust Still remember all those great nights Screaming like you hate me but you love me at the same time When he hits, man, you know it ain't the same vibe Remember when I had you face down as you'd say my So if you love me, won't you let huh. me know Oh, I know why Wrong layer Alright Here's our Sonic Alright, Sonic. Feels good. There he is. Fight. Um, if I had done this differently, I could do some like more shading and whatever, but I feel like that's a good that's a good little starting sketch for the day.
Maybe I'll do some like highlights on his on his fur. Just a little lighter color. And just like a little a bit of this. Sonic, friend. It's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, I, I need to start something new here. Let's start something new. I kind of feel like just drawing, just like drawing something. Do you know what I mean? About like trying to draw somebody else's shit. What will I draw though? My own, my own Sonic type character? Like... Big feet or little feet? Medium feet? Huge feet? Huge feet? I think huge feet is more. Small fight. He's gonna have like a weapon. Do the Sonic style eyes. Something like that. Pointy ears, pointy ear ears. And then, 
what to do with the hair. Uh, no hair. Let's make him a little more, a little smaller. Put him in the middle of this cage a little better. He's almost like got like a Han Solo kind of vibe. Like a little like vesty jacket thing. Will make me be the one, but I don't want to be someone who, who you come to to tell you you're so pretty. Let's do another layer. <laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men? <laughs> the shadow knows. All right, so there's our little guy.
Can they name their character Miss Lane? If that's like Spider-Man's... Like is that... I mean Spider-Man, Superman's girl? Like, that seems like a real... reach. To name it Miss Lane. Then your nephew dies, Doctor. Dies horribly. Oh, stop it, will you stop it? The voice of the shadow is never silent. What do you think? There was a little man sitting here not ten minutes ago. He what do you think of that guy? Mm -hmm. I remember it rang the quarter of the hour. It's one of those old-fashioned ones that chime. So? Well, now he's disappeared. Well, before we go any further with the fairy story, did you find out what time it is? The conductor says it's not one o'clock yet, but by the stranger's watch, it would now be just about five o'clock. What's that? You can't name it's him Roger. Watch. We already have a Roger. No, he isn't. His watch is. Look, this is it. You can't name him Roger. They croak, said the one, so they croaked and were glad in the sand. Here's a little the guy. Here we go. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, and lived an old mother frog and her little froggy one. Croak, said the mother. I croak, said the one, so they croaked and were glad in the sand, in the sun. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun. Going in? Yes. I am a doctor, Mr. Patterson. And besides, Patterson, you might catch the disease. Well, I don't mind taking that chance. That's very brave of you, sir. The order is definite quarantine against civilians. Yes, I'm afraid the doctor's right, Lamont. In the army, orders are orders. Hey, well, just as you say, sir. His eyes are so lopsided, I love it. <laughs> this, eye, this eye on the right is so like... Eyelashes. <laughs> the mute feels better. Oh, 
shit Walls of a room knows everything Keep it all inside, all inside She's fine Okay, there you go. <laughs> the key of this is like, no this way. I'm a doctor. All right. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to delete my other guy. This guy. But the best drawing was still this one. Ah, yes. Ari says I should mint it. I mint this on Zora. How much do you think how much do you think this drawing would go for on Zora? <laughs> Am I gonna email this to you? Sonk likes Becco. Yeah. Sonk is way into Becco. Sonk is um Sonk is Oh man, I just started watching Ted Lasso. Dude, it's the, that's the feel-good show of the year. How does he, how do you write a show like that? Damn. Have you guys seen this show? Ted Lasso's incredible. So fucking funny. The thing I like about him is that he's got that, he's the most likable human. And he's, he's like, um unexpectedly sharp right like shit happens around him and he always catches it or he's always like he's usually ahead of it i shouldn't say usually half the time he's ahead of it a little bit but he's just like no nope, gonna stay positive about this one i just i just watched the episode where um oh i don't want to give anything away for you guys who haven't seen it uh i just i'm on like the fourth or fifth episode i'm on the fifth episode so i think i'm in the fifth episode or sixth episode no, I think fifth. And, and um, yeah, just really, Jason Sudeik is just a oh, genius. So, such a genius. Um, football is life. Ted Lasso. Oh, it's great. I do like it. I used to, like, I used to not watch any TV, but now um, I pick my little shows here and there. I watch a little more than I... I think the quarantine forced me into a TV watching habit. Like, almost like, of course, right? Of course. I wonder, can you see this on your screen? You kind of can, huh? Some of you probably can't. Um, I'm just thinking like maybe do a little sketchy, little sketchy sketch. Thinking like... Ben Kessler, oh, what a jam. Guy. Yeah, I swear that I'll be fine. Just gonna walk myself home. Think I better call it a night. What a jam. What's Ben up to right now? It's following Ben. I wish I could explain this. Feeling that I'm tasting cold as it's breaking me down. I hope you stay around. Cause I don't wanna be going like this. I don't wanna be going like I 
stop thinking about you How you probably thinking that I'm crazy Another guy fucked up on something Who can't hold a conversation I swear it's not yet true I could spend all night with you explaining But when the sun comes up and the music fades I'll be all alone in the morning I don't wanna be known like this I don't wanna be known like this Falling out of my body Breaking while everyone's watching smiles in their faces oh i smile but i fake it i wish i could explain this feeling that i'm tasting cold as it's breaking me down i hope you stay around cause i don't wanna be alone like this i don't wanna be alone like this falling out of my body breaking when everyone's watching they feel it alone what should this character be doing? I wonder. Is it a guy or a girl? Maybe it's a girl. Should she be a superhero? I feel like I'm always drawing like some version of superheroes. Am I am I always drawing some version of superheroes? Been leaking, secretly creeping up on ends that touch, stacking these ducats till I get paper cut. A chip shoulder from the file X, call molder, leave Scully shrunk and destruction is one step closer. What was I supposed to do? Told to alter views from making dreams come true by older dudes. The reason we don't roll with you. Too proud of being the minority assorted beings. Go to war with kings before losing points of authority. Turn south out to a horror scene, not for the darlings, more from the margins. My creatures coming, you see them crawling. My fear done away like King Kong gripping. Dope as a coke shipment, my pen winning this in a runaway. Never took side help, I fell to the moon Soon as the sky fell, it hit deaf ears Did it by myself Now I took the, 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 the um, pupils out Turned into super, more superhero I'm the cure for the itch of competition Keep pushing me away from my problems Cause when it's time to go, I shine the most Remind them folks, if it wasn't for Chester And Mike Shinoda, I'd be a ghost I've been waiting all my life Now we headed to the top floor Long as my soul fly, I can never fall I don't need everything, I just want it all The rise is meteoric Skip the rhetoric, we progressing, steady moving forward Wouldn't be here if I was me, or lack the heart for it Get out the way if you loitering My every organ telling me don't stay It's time to advance in my hands Keys to right and wrong When writing songs is to help me create somewhere I belong Nestle safely in my haven like heaven But seems aloof At a distance, my position was clearly lying from you <laughs> Wake up, sprinting when I hit the floor, son I shun jogging dog, it's so much easier to run Focus laser, who you place next to camp Comparisons faint, I find they need the greatest Where he be at, you figure 909 That be accurate, I hold on my balance When the darkness reaching for me, continue breaking The habit, was young and bashful, the arc of Archer Could have been tragic, from the inside a prince Would rise, but he is an Aladdin When nobody's listening, I'm penciling in the session Till my hand numb and cramping from giving All my confessions, knew that I would shine Had the glow in adolescence, 2020 Gave the vision for acknowledgement from legends
Okay, so I feel like that face is a little bit too small. The rest of the head. Strangely, I got out of proportion here. There's a fire. like the shape of this thing we doing the uh you know let's see what happens here yeah there isn't like a concept so much for this one maybe um Let's start to do some, let's start to do some designing here. Maybe like a costume, little costume design thing going on here. Voices in my head get louder, nothing I can say I'm proud of. I'm not going to let them overrun. Cause it's all I have to do, and it's all I want to say. Cause it seems so What happened? Something like that, and then like that. I feel like that, uh, like we need some dark stuff, like this here. This should all be dark here. I'm gonna get rid of those guys. Yeah, we'll keep this. A cool shape. I don't know. Putting some shapes on the screen.
Maybe this should be black. Maybe that's the kind of the vibe. So, yeah, so that's kind of like what I was kind of doing in there is like, here, let me do this. Um, just kind of getting a sense of um, what some of the, the shapes could be like. And so I could go in here and kind of just like, scribble out even like this halftone situation here. Oops. One thing about this particular brush is I haven't set it up to like stay put. Like if I lift my pen and then re um, when I start drawing again, the the dots will like overlap. So that's not so awesome. But just doing this to get a little sense of and just keep all of these. Top of that, I'm going to start actually drawing. Let's see what happens here.
I'll be next year. Kiss me on my left cheek, love me like my bestie. On the phone with Ashley, rush it like an athlete. We be at the game, yeah, but we never play. Now flip it upside down. There's a couple of these lines here. Gotta get a really good line here. Uh, my hand is like sticking to the iPad a little bit. I kind of need my goofy glove, maybe. Uh, I don't like it. Dude, these lines, my my hand is like sticking to the, the, it's like a little sweaty. It's like just sweaty enough that it's sticking to the iPad a little bit. So some of these lines are so like not straight. She's buff. All right, let's put this halftone back on and see how we're feeling. Ugh, okay. This is going to require some more tweaking. Require some tweaking here. I don't actually know what I'm doing with this. Like what I'm, what I'm, I'm literally, this is like just doodling and experimenting with these halftone things. I'm starting to not like her face, this is, this is a problem. Like, this line on the nose is kind of not good. Creeping me out now. 
back to that. We're back to no pupil. back to this another time. I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't hate it. It's not bad. But it's kind of like, it's one of those sketches that I do and I'm like, that's fine. Like, whatever. I guess I could just kind of finish it here. I'll finish it. But it's not like, I'll just finish it for you guys. I love that you guys like, when I'm like, ah, it's okay, like not great. And you guys are like, you're too hard on yourself. I'm literally not hard on myself. I'm literally like, this is just part of the process of like making things. You like make thing and then you go, that's not a great thing. Let's like make a different thing. It's called like cutting your losses basically. You get a certain point you gotta go, okay, like I tried that, it was okay. It's not terrible, it's not great. Not a big deal. fatten up this marker and just like do a little outline bit here. Oops. Too fat. Maybe I'll 
up to That's probably better. It's fine. Like, that's like a finished-ish version of it. You know? It's like not, like, not bad. Not great. It's fine. Um, the face is like, I don't know, something about the face is like, not quite doing it for me, and the pose is so, like, there's nothing happening in it. But it's fine. Nothing happening. Um, you're kind of masculine, you think? She's supposed to be like a superhero kind of character. to do she's like as strong as Captain Marvel or something um, anyway maybe her mouth isn't big enough maybe that's part of the problem that helps a little bit Probably. It's so weird to do this. Look at the eyes. Like, yeah, forget. Leave it alone, man. It's fine. It's whatever. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself, Mike. Don't say you don't like a thing you make. <sighs> Garby thinks the issue is the pupil. No, I don't think Garby, I don't think the issue is the pupil. I think the issue is the drawing. It's not a good drawing. I've done many better drawings. Hold on. First of all, oh, oops, I pushed the wrong button. First of all, we have to come back here to some shouts. What do we have? We have... Where did we end off? I'm looking here. Here we go. Guardian Asylum resub. London Gaming Co. resubs. Segui. Smort. Is Smort and, res and sub with Prime. Odely A. resub. Young Monsters. Uh, sub. Stephanie Diaz. resub. Monica Alvarez. Prime. Smort. Real Muffin Wagon. The Prime. Smort. Sophia. 115. Nice. <laughs> 10 Poggers. subs. Um, Alita Ben resub. LP Buckeye gifted five. Poggers. 
Oettinger Weisen with Prime. Swing. Bird Box the Girl resubbed. IK, IDK Raya with 15. Poggers. Pog, 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 Subs. Phantom Archangel resub. LP Buckeye with 5. Poggers. So Boring 1 resub. Katoda Gifted Luis. GDS Filo. Resub. Trish 317 Gifted. Mila Berkey nice. with Prime. Snoring. How do you play music resub? Sapphire Sky Gifted and Ali H Gifted 5. Poggers. Thank you guys very much. Um, no, I, I mean, like, uh, in terms of, like, um, saying that a drawing that I did is not my best drawing, like, you saw those. Like, to me, I don't know, like, even, like, this drawing, much better drawing. It's just a much better thing, right? Um... The other day I did a bad drawing and then I like redid it and it looked like this. Like I fixed it and turned turned it into this. Like that's a much better drawing than what I was doing today. Do you know what I'm saying? I like this one a lot better. So some days like I look at that like I can look at that and go that's a that's a good drawing of mine and then the ones I did today not so much. So that's all. Um, what else did I draw that's that's good? Maybe I can show you something I haven't you haven't seen on the stream. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Let me see. Oh, check this little thing out. That's a cool one. I did this in my kind of like spare time. That's a better drawing. That's just like, and that probably did, it took three, uh, three hours, maybe? Kind of tweaked and tweaked and tweaked. But yeah, like just that face alone, I was like, oh yeah, I got something with this face. Like I like the weird skull helmet thing in the face. And then decided to put a humong, like, like saggy pants and a huge gun on her. I think it's a her. But yeah, I think she's also wearing like Jordans. Um, you know, yeah. You want me to mint that? <laughs> I could mint it. You want me to put it on Zora? I'll put it up. I mean, I don't know, you know, you can end up getting it for 20 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. I also know what gas prices are like right now. Um, do you want me to put it up? Are you serious about like buying it? Mint Sonk? <laughs> you want me to mint Sonk as well? Uh, I mean... What are the gas prices like right now? Man, did you, did you see the... Uh, we had a bit of a crypto... Bit of a crypto crash this morning. Ethereum went down like a thousand US dollars and, and recovered like almost immediately. Somebody sold a lot of Ethereum. <laughs> um, Gingerbread Beauty rated. What's up, Raiders? <laughs> Greetings. Greetings, Raiders. We were just, I was just, well, well, I guess I can show this drawing while we're, while we're here. Um, this is a drawing that I did like off stream basically and um, I was saying the drawings I did today on stream weren't like I feel like they weren't as good as this for example um, <laughs> except for one of them one drawing I did today was better than that um, which was <laughs> So I had done, what had I done? What did I did? Um, I did this one today. Somebody requested Sonic the Hedgehog. I did that today. I did this frog who is a doctor. I did 
this weird drawing, which um, the fans really liked, but I thought was questionable, compared to the one, the other one, right? And then the best drawing of the day, of course, was this guy, the real Sonk. <laughs> you really want me to mint Sonk? <laughs> I'll mint Sonk. I'll do that. You can have it. Somebody, was, Somebody's gonna own Sonk. The Hedgehog. I just gotta remember it here. I'm gonna just like send it to myself real quick so that I don't forget. Um, let's after this, let's do some questions though. I feel like it's a uh, perfectly good. I, I, I was on the stream a little late today, so I can I'll stay after. I usually wrap up around 12, but I'll stay. For a bit and answer some questions. Um, let's look at the questions. So you can redeem questions for Shinoda Bucks at the link in the chat. Um, right now, we've got some, let's see what kind of questions we've got here. I feel like I'm, all right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Um, let me see here. There's a question was from, who is it from? Joel DC 510 says, Hey Mike, I'm an auto, I am an automotive engineer and I just recently saw the video you did with Mercedes for one man, one engine. Do you know what car that engine went to? Um, so the video was a, when I was in Germany, um, I went to the, the I've, I've gone to their, um, their headquarters a few times and we did a thing where they had one of their master engine builders like lead me through some steps of make, of like a, making a part of an engine. And I have no experience building I, I don't even like uh, uh, like fix things on my own car. Well, these days it's like really hard to fix anything on a car because the technology's gotten so crazy. But even when I was a kid and like it was easier to like get under the hood and do things to your like repair your car, even then I didn't really do it. I mean, I've changed oil and like wiper fluid, but not I'm not about to change my brakes. Like the stakes are too high. You know what I'm saying? Actually, that's a good piece of uh, trivia is Anna Shinoda has actually changed the brakes on her car. She's she's more experienced at that than I am. Um, so but that was like out of necessity, like her like my I was would be too nervous to do that and I could like afford to like take it to the you know shop and have the brakes changed. Anna Anna's family was like that was a stretch. It was like they did not have enough money to just go and do that. So she they did those types of things themselves. So just to put it in context of why, why that um, how she learned to do stuff like that. Like her her family just did it because they didn't have enough money. Um, so anyway, you said the question was what kind of car did it go into? I think it was in, uh, what do you call it? S65, AMG S6, I think it was like in, it was something in that, in that range. Um, but I could be wrong. They didn't, I don't think they told me. If they did, they told me like right at the beginning and I, I was, it was very um, overwhelming. There's like 30 or 40 people there like with cameras and stuff and whatever. So, but it was a really fun experience to like, sit with somebody who's like does that every day and like the craftsmanship of like every piece like fitting together perfectly it's like by like you know portions of millimeters um pretty insane pretty intense um let's see good question though joel very uh um specific but so uh what do we have here Mr. Buckworthy asks, Hey Mike, I noticed when listening to One More Light by Linkin Park that there is a smoothness and clarity to the vocals that's different from other LP albums. What's the secret behind this? Much love. Um, 
Well, let's see. I think it was partially in the actual performance. So there's a few things that would add to that that would that would result in the kind of vocal presentation. It would be you you would address it on every step of the way. Like if you're recording albums to a um a more pop style song. So first of all, it's the music around the vocal, right? Um, so there's no in like um what well I don't know what like nope nobody can save me. Like the the texture and the shape of that music is not as like a aggressive and distorted. So it's gonna showcase the vocal more. Cause right? You're ma you've made more room for the vocal in the track. And then the microphone we mic the mic chain we used was the same as always. So it was a generally uh, Neumann U47 microphone and the Neve preamp, um, 1176 compressor. Um, and then, cause I think we tried other things too. By the way, this microphone is SM7B, the one I'm using right here. And for, for, for on other albums, let's say the Hunting Party, for example, which is a very heavy album, uh, we would swap between a U47, which is a very expensive, clear microphone, and an SM7, which is a much less expensive. I mean, I'm talking like tens of thousands, ten, like ten thousand dollars cheaper, uh, a microphone. And the quality, like the the shape of those two microphones, is similar enough that we could do the super aggressive stuff on this, and then like singing stuff on that. Um, like like verse and chorus singing on that more high-end microphone. But like for a really aggressive, nasty screaming part, it, it might be the U47 or it might be this SM7. Um, in terms of clarity, you can get that. that is, there's actually a knockoff uh, U47. So the U47 is very, very expensive. There's one called a Flea, which is probably half the price. Um... So if you're in the market for a high-end microphone, very and really nice microphone, the f I actually we 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 had done we did mic shootouts like once every other album. We checked, put up a bunch of microphones. You could do this if you rent out a studio. Um, you go to the studio for a day, ask them before you get there, tell them you don't know what microphone for you want to use for vocals, and want you want them to set up before you get there. Have the engineer set up all of the microphone vocal microphone selection that they've got put up five mics so that you can just write out as soon as you show up you can just sing into each of them record it all and then listen back and choose one or two and then now they'll be like stoked they'll be so excited that you usually that you want to do that because first of all it lets them like show off their stuff they've got in the um in the vault but also it shows that you have like a consideration for like the craft of what you're doing um and you go and you choose you might learn like oh i've been using this one microphone or i don't know anything about microphones and definitively like between the ones that they've tried you've tried you can choose the one that sounds the best for you the compressor and the preamp are going to matter but not as much as the actual mic you choose um other people use what's the name of the sony mic that everyone always like i don't like that mic we tried that a couple times it's way too present and bright it sounds like i don't know it sounds like it's like <laughs> it's not good uh my headphones are not ten thousand dollar headphones no my headphones are like hundred and something i don't know it's been a while i've only replaced these headphones once so they last a long time. Um, let's look at another question. That was a good question. Has helps once to know my three favorite Madonna songs are. Not a huge Madonna fan. Gonna be honest. Um like if i do if i were to sh to say which ones are my favorite it'd be early stuff the earliest earliest 
uh, like first two albums era. But I can't even like tell you off the top of my head which ones it would be. But I mean, you know, I guess that's a worthwhile piece of trivia. Um, I Tater Tot says, can we have a mod appreciation day for our modies and for Anna Ginter for all the hard work they do? Modies and Anna, shout out to our mods and to Anna for being amazing and for helping us out and keeping uh, the show running. Appreciate you guys. Um, great, great submission though. Appreciate that. Aladen says, was there ever moments with LP where you all thought of dropping the band? How did you overcome it? As always, thanks for these streams that keep me motivated during the past 15 months of pandemic. Aladen, that's a good question. A lot of bands have moments where they go like, ugh, I don't know about this. This is a, you know, too hard or they have disagreements or whatever. I feel like we didn't really have anything that was like a break, real breaking point like that. Just, I don't, I, nothing comes to mind where every, where people were like, this is not working. We had a really, we had one moment where we needed to take a little breather, like a break right before minutes to midnight. And that moment, that was just like, um, every, like the first two records and the collision course thing were so much. Um, and then since the, some of the guys were like, we need a break, um, that's when I went and did, that's when I did Fort Minor and Chester did Dead by Sunrise. And then, and that was because mostly because we were like, we're, we, we're, we want to keep making stuff and, and keep going while you guys like take a rest, take a breather. So it wasn't like a breaking point. It was more of like a, just some of the guys needed something that the other guys didn't need. Um, and we got to be creative in a different, different way and like figure out some other stuff. Um, and just go like live different for a moment, like li also like live different creative lives, which was, I feel like um, ne it was necessary and like kind of important in a weird way. Um, we had done like around the time of the first album, we had done like at one point we had done like 300 shows in 365 days. Like it was as aggressive as you can get. So yeah, we needed, the guys needed some rest. And there was a point actually when we got back into it with the album with Minutes of Midnight where it, you know, I was in particular, I felt like, are we, you know, can you guys like commit again? Like I'm, this is, you, you, we started making this record and I don't feel like everybody's like pulling their weight. Um, and, you know, I'd, I'd say for, for, to answer the other part, the B part of your question, like, overcoming those moments where you're feeling um, disagreements in your band or whatever. It goes for any creative, any group activity. You you know, being respectfully vocal about how you're feeling about the situation is um, kind of necessary. It's true for any kind of like relationship thing like that, like that right? But it's like, you can, you don't want to come in, theoretically, you want to avoid coming in guns blazing, being like, okay, I'm doing everything, you guys aren't doing shit and blah, you know what I mean? Like that's, you're not going to get anywhere. All, all you're going to do doing that is burning bridges and make, and it's going to be just bad blood. So like, there's no, there's no, you got to get, like one of the techniques that, that um, I guess I haven't done for a long time, but like, I know some of you have heard about doing this. When you feel upset, somebody sends you an email or something, you're pissed off, you write your response, and then instead of sending it, you save it. And it's like, you, you know what I mean? Like, then you're not confronting them, and you're also not reacting in the moment. You write your crazy email, you get it all out, and then you save it, and then maybe you end up not sending it, or maybe you end up sending a version of it. Like, be critical of yourself before you do that, make that, like, commitment to, like, putting that out there. You know, you could, like, reread it and be like, okay, 
I was furious when I wrote this email, and now I'm not furious. I'm, I have a reason that I'm upset, and I read this email, and I, and I can now take the, the, the thoughts, the points that I was trying to make, and make those same points in a, um, LPGU says not to know me impulsive. Yeah, make make those same p points in a way that's not impulsive. It's a it's a measured kind of way. Super helpful. Like if you and if you read the email back and you're still pissed, like it's like maybe don't like wait until you're not livid to send the email, and then go back into the email and rewrite it or start from scratch and say, okay, I'll write it again. And my real point is not you are a dipshit. My real point is, hey, you're not, um, I, I feel like I'm pulling, I'm, I feel like I'm putting in so much effort here and I, I'm unclear about everybody else's commitment to the effort. Like, what are we doing? Are we, are you guys, do you guys need more space? Do you guys need more, you know, less work? Do you not give a shit? So, um, that's usually a better course of action. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, in a in a similar actually this is funny, in a similar vein, Jaguar one one oh two says how painful a word can sting. It's difficult to live without believing anyone. Uh, insults uh, echo loudly. Live in love, you are the best. Um, translation, words matter. And taking a beat, if you're gonna say something um, extreme, maybe taking a beat before you get there is not only um, responsible, but also in your own best interest. Like, if you have a point, think of a way to say it that is like productive. Because if you, if I'm just thinking like, even if I just think of it logically, like, say it in a way that's like productive for you. That's just being selfish. Like, if let's imagine you're talking to somebody who's just a complete idiot and you disagree on just about everything, but they've they've said or their their position is something opposite of yours and they're saying something that it, like affects, it materially affects you. Like you work together, you're on a project together, you guys have to make a thing together. You can't get out of that without quitting your job, right? But they're just you and the, they, the, you guys are on opposite sides of a thing. Like in the name of doing your job, which you are paid to do and you care, ostensibly care about your job, then yeah, like you don't want to just go in there and be like, listen, asshole, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know anything. Like you're dead in the water at that point. Doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Like I'm thinking just logically and just selfishly, like you are doing yourself a disservice. You're screwing yourself by going into that situation being and telling the other person they're an idiot. They could actually be an idiot, but you're not, you're, you're, your goal is not to inform them that they are an idiot because an idiot will never realize that that is the case. It would be a one in a billion chance that they're gonna go, you know what? You're right. Yeah, not gonna really happen. Selfishly, it's like, just get the job done and find a way to convince them like, okay, like we're not gonna agree on these things, but we gotta do a job. Um, Herf Noda wants to know, how did your parents meet and fall in love being from opposite coasts and dramatically different backgrounds? Did they face any opposition? Okay, that's a very deep and complicated question. But for those of you, we've got a lot of people in the chat today. So for, to make a short version of this, my dad's family is from Japan. They moved and settled in California. Um, they were interned during World War II and went from, they had built up this like life and 
business. They had like this little general store at the center of town and they did like okay. And then they did well. And then after Pearl Harbor, everybody got, all the Japanese got put in prison camps for the duration of the war. They came home, they had like literally no, nothing. They went from being like, like business owners in the center of their town to like picking strawberries in a field. My mom's family is in the, um, they, they are from Appalachia, West Virginia. Um, their nearest neighbors were like a mile away. Uh, they walked to school miles down the dirt road to a one room schoolhouse where it was like from, you know, babe, like toddlers up to 16 or 17. And at 16 or 17, you, they just gave you a diploma and you could like go work or like leave town. Um, there was like a cemetery on the hill, like near the house where they just like dug things and put, they like, did concrete like tombstones and like just that was the that's where you buried people like it was like that's it was very rural um my mom did leave when she was like at, like 17 left and went to like ohio i think it was moved in with her sister started working there got a job that job her boss at that job moved to california met my dad and the rest is history they were in um like the aerospace she he was an aerospace en uh, engineer slash like they built like rockets and like uh computer systems for like helicopters and like fighter jets and stuff like that and also space shuttle and, and a lot so my mom was also working in that same uh, office um but she was she was assisting a, a guy that my i guess was probably around the same like I don't know if he was I don't know what he did but she was assisting that guy I met my dad yada 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 they got married they my 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 family on the on the my mom's side did not mostly did not attend the wedding because the race stuff was still pretty crazy but some of them they basically warmed up to him later which is a weird thing, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, they were v definitely. It took them a moment to warm up to the to the Asian, but they love my dad now. They love my dad. Um, great question. Great question. Yeah, my dad's family didn't have an. They were just like, oh, you're getting married, great. He showed up. Congratulations. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is a great one, but I don't know what my answer is going to be. Malicious sheep. Oh, I have a, I have a weird answer. Malicious sheep 56 says, what retro th thing from deep in your memory did you go looking for IRL recently? And did you find it? object, music, food, toy. If you found it, was it online or in real life? Um, check this out. So just this weekend, this is an NFT thing, I warn you, but it's actually exactly what you what you asked. Um, so somebody sends me a note, somebody sent me like a DM, it's on like a group chat that I'm on. They're like, check this shit out. It's like, do you guys remember the game Dope Wars? And I was like, wait a minute. Was that like a PC game? Like, I do remember that. They were like, yeah, somebody's making Dope Wars, um, like an NFT version. There's a, it's a long story about um, like the format of this thing. But the short version is, Hold on, I gotta show you the. Um, I just want to show you what it what it is. Fuck. Okay, so there was a game. Well, I'll start with actually the NFT because it was like, I looked at it and I was like, 
how's this going to make any sense? Um, the, the NFT is really kind of goofy looking. For those of you who, okay, here we go. Finally. Jesus. So they show me this thing and I'm like, these are just like lists of things. And I was like, these are the, these are the NFTs. It's just the list of things. There was a popular NFT this last week called loot. And basically they, what they did is they, they gave you items for a, a game that is not, uh, doesn't exist yet. So in theory, these are the items that you would play with in dope wars. And so they, they, they launched these NFTs and then they launched a social token. And I was like, this is amazing because the reason this was like so fun for me is that the actual classic game is, is it looks like this. So check this out. This is what, you remember we were, the, this started from like, what, um, what thing, not a nostalgic thing did you go hunting for recently? I have this. I was like, wait, why are they, did they already make the game and this is part of the game or are they now going to make the game? It turns out they're going to make the game now. So they built, they built the NFTs, sold the NFTs, made some money, taking the money, putting it back into making the game. So it's almost like a NFT version of a Kickstarter. So this is the, 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 the old school version of the PC game where you'd basically like, you had cash, you started with some stuff and you'd have to go to different boroughs in New York. In this case, if you look at the, the um, you know, you're on the subway, you're taking the subway from Coney Island. You go to one of these places and you have, you have space in your trench coat to take some of your drugs and you go sell your drug <laughs> and you try to make as much money as you can without getting caught by the cops. It was like the most like basic version of like a, um, like GTA or something. So the guys who made the Dope Wars loot, the Dope Wars NFT, they just started with what you've got. They started with your items and then you could go buy your items. And then now you've got your NFT with your items. And when they build a game, theoretically, maybe you could start your game with your items. It's a really weird concept for those that aren't in this, like in this, following this type of like conversation. Um, but yeah, I got, I got a few dope items. There's no game to play yet. They have literally haven't made it. They're going to make it. Though. Um, they're making it right now. So pretty funny, right? Pretty fun. I have to go back and play the original dope wars game though. I'm going to, I'm probably going to do it today. I bet I'll go, go look it up now that we talked about it. I go look it up and play it. So random. So random. Good question, malicious sheep. That is a random thing. I don't even know how, like, I mean, look at how, like, simple the um, actual interface on that thing was. So, it must have been like 20 years ago, right? Did any of you guys play that back in the day? Oh, uh, put the link to the Discord in the chat. Just for anybody, we got a bunch of new people here. Um, put the link to the Discord. We just launched my ser my server. Um, you can go, you know, we'll talk about music, talk about art, talk about NFTs. You can promote your stuff, uh, memes, whatever. Um, go in there and talk about posts about the about dope work. I don't necessarily mean Dope Wars loot, like Dope Wars NFT. I mean like the original. So it was, was it on the TI-83? Was it on a calculator? Really? Damn. I don't think I played it on a calculator. I think I played it on like a, did I have a sidekick back in the day? Oh, it was a Palm. It was a Palm Pilot. You could play it on the Palm. I think that's what it was. It was like pre-GTA, you guys, I think. Shit was old. Okay. Uh, Shinoda Soda says, have you been to the Joshua Vitas uh, 
coffee shop, Matt Black Coffee, looks like fun. I want an honest review. I have not been. Josh, dude, Josh is one of the most ripped off artists. He is one of the most, like, stolen from um, artists right now. Like, if you don't know his stuff, let me just show you something, because you're going to see... I'm going to show you this and you're going to be like, really? Like, I've seen whatever, whatever, but... So this is Josh with some of his work. Like, he take he's the guy who takes an item and paints it like basically like a matte white and then outlines it in black. And you guys have seen all these people do this and rip this idea off, but he came, he invented this. And, and he can't like, unfortunately, he can't like sue everybody that rips it off. But shout out to Josh. He's his like his work is so cool. Just so I love how because it immediately flattens whatever you do this to. Like that look, it turns it into like a comic strip, right? So dope. I met him once. I met him once at a dinner, like with like a couple years ago, and then I think I was already following him, and. He was like, oh, what's up, Mike? Like, you know, um, thanks for following me or whatever. We were just talking and he's, I think he said something about his art, but I didn't know who he was. And then I was like, wait, who are you? <laughs> he's like, oh, you follow me like Josh. And I was like, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Well, I didn't know. I mean, sometimes you follow people for art and you don't know what they look like. I. People follow, there are people who follow me for Linkin Park stuff and don't know what I look like. It's probably less likely than Josh, but. More questions. Oh, we already did this. Jackass LP says, do you believe in the paranormal? I'm gonna refund that because we already answered that. Maybe I just didn't redeem that question. Maybe I answered it and didn't redeem it. Um, all right. What else we got here? Got some goofy stuff in here. <laughs> After Ash. After Ash, after, after Ash says, may I acquire a cheeky clue, dear sir, for obtaining a prestigious Shinoda produced track. If you mean, where can you get a Twitch, one of the Twitch tracks? I don't publish most of them. I just play them in the back, use them for background music here. Some of them come out on the, the ones where I've produced a vocalist. Um, which I did more of in the earlier part of the year. Those are slowly coming out. Pygon Bar, have a track by Pygon Bar um, coming out soon. Follow him for that, P-A-I-G-A-M-B-A-R. And then um, I'm, putting, I'm putting some stuff up on Audius. Maybe I'll make a track. Should I put up one of the tracks? Like, do you guys, I don't know if you'll be able to do this by name. Do you have a favorite unreleased track from this channel that I should put up on Audius? What track is like amazing and I need to put it up on Audius? I shouldn't, you know, I can't do the ones with like, like Roger and all that. I can't do, I can't do that. Um, Cause there's like, like legit samples in those. Um, we, we have skirt skirt. We have license to waltz. We have acoustic Elmo, <laughs> quarantine tequila. Okay, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's, li let's listen to some of these. Let's listen to some of these. Okay, ready? We have this one. This one's Skirt Skirt. Na, 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 
Are we gonna, um... Make a new poll. Which should I post on Audius? Skirt, skirt. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so this one's skirt, skirt. Skirt, skirt, skirt. All right. You know what that is? Um, where's the quarantine tequila one? What did I call that? Did I call it quarantine tequila? Oh man, I got to find this thing. Um, 100th stream was a request. That was this one. It's kind of a cool track. I love this one. So that one was called 100th stream. What was the other name for the quarantine tequila one? What was the other name for it? Atomic Tortilla? All right, so this one we just listened to is called, we called it 100, I just called it 100th stream. Um, I gotta find the Quarantine Tequila song. I didn't call it Atomic Tortilla. I didn't call it that in my in my god dang it 4 13 20 is that what it was <laughs> hold on let's find it here 4 13 20 oh my god bazooka donut oh, it had so many <laughs> names <laughs> okay hold on hold on we're gonna find it we're gonna find it um, four thirteen. No, that was this one. All right, so that was the four thirteen was or four fourteen was this four four thirteen was that one? Yeah, I get Tortuga. Was it the J-pop one? Hold up. Let's listen to the J-pop one real quick. I know this wasn't the right. Hold up. Oh, it was! J-pop Owl City Madonna. Okay, so then I gotta rename this. Quarantine tequila. All right, quarantine tequila, 72820. All right, quarantine tequila was the other one. We found it. Good God. Thank you. We missed, you missed the date though. That was totally different. Um, all right, that's the third option. I know what's going to win. I don't even need to put anything else on here because that one's probably good. But I mean, it'll have a up against skirt skirt. All 
All right, so those are the two. I want to put one other good one in here that you guys might vote for. I put those in and I put the 100th stream one in, which is just a good track. Not silly. This is the 100th stream, stream one. The boy band one? Zeppelin one was pretty good. This one was cool. This is the Bangra Boom Bap Zeppelin song from 7.30.20. I played drums on this one. So those are three. Actually, that's a fourth one. The Animal Crossing one? Wait, what was the Animal Crossing one? What? Wait, which one was the Animal Crossing one? Animal Crossing. What? Well, let's just get the vote. Let's just get the vote going. Skirt, skirt, quarantine, tequila, or 100th stream. Ready? No, no buying votes. No buying votes. We've got... The vote is now live in your window, top right. Uh, if you're on mobile, the little, I think it's purple button. Um, let's check and see what the poll is looking like live right now we've got whoa loud we've got a very tight uh race between skirt skirt and 100th stream i am shocked quarantine tequila is not getting more this one really really not getting more? Okay. Hey. You guys are, you guys are voting. You're the ones. It's you're the ones who're going to be listening to it, so. The skirt skirt votes are going to the the quarantine tequila votes are going to skirt skirt. Yeah, it's a tough one. All right, you guys. Well, I hate to call it early, but it would take a miracle for 100th stream to catch up. I, th I mean, only 100, only like 300 people have voted, though. Out of 4,000 viewers, really? This many people haven't voted? Get it in there now. Now's the moment. Go. All right, let's see what happens. Yep, and the winner with 42% of the vote is this song, which will be posted on Audius today. For your listening pleasure, Skirt Skirt. Add a tum. Add, add quarantine tequila anyway. Add them both. That would be super funny. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Skirt, 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 skirt. Oh my God! Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I gotta get out of here. Um, add them both. I'm so tempted to add them both. I am tempted to add them both. But I think we do one at a time. Don't you think? Yeah, let's do one at a time. Could I add the other one like next week or something? If you guys remind me. All right. 
Thank you guys very much. Uh, throw the Discord link in the chat. Excuse me. Throw the Discord link in the chat while I check these raid uh, redemptions. You guys want me to raid things? Um... Checking all of these, um, the usual raid redemptions. Uh, you guys have have redeemed raids for about what is this? Um, redeemed raids for eleven things, eleven different redemptions. None of the people are on, so it looks like I get to pick today. Um, and just gonna take a peek at what else is on here. Wow, a lot of the accounts I follow are not on right now. Um, I think I'm gonna do... I feel like we've, we've raided a bunch of these channels recently. I don't want to do the same one. Um, all right, I don't know Steve Sketches very well, but we're gonna raid Steve Sketches because it looks cool. He's making some, he's drawing something that looks cool to me. So we're gonna do that. All righty. Uh, please enjoy this raid. I will be back on Thursday, 10 a.m. Uh, make sure to throw the Discord link in the chat uh, so our new friends can go follow there. Make sure to follow this channel and subscribe. Um, and I'll catch you guys on Thursday at 10. All right? Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.